This is a production of WTVI PBS Charlotte. Janice White uses a walker to get around her apartment in North Charlotte. I had an aneurysm some years ago. And due to her health, she isn't able to stand up for long periods of time. So preparing a home cooked meal just isn't an option. If I'm not on this, this right here, I'm on, I'm on the wheelchair, which I got back there in my room. This is my lifeline. She and about 500 other people across Mecklenburg County receive a home delivered meal from Friendship Trays each day. Chicken and gravy. But they also send out 200 meals to adult and child daycare centers. From the moment you step inside Friendship Trays Kitchen off Remount Road, you're struck by just how many volunteers it takes to run this operation. Today we have uh, chicken, baked chicken, greens, and uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes. Chef Devon Jackson says they rely heavily on volunteers. They're very important. Without them, we couldn't get it done. Like these Bank of America employees who have traded in their suits and cubicles for t-shirts and kitchen duty. It takes about 120 volunteers to pull off this massive food, prep, and delivery operation each day. I thank them every minute and every day when they come here. It's a blessing. Not to mention countless volunteers who give of their time growing vegetables and gardens like this one at Geringer High School. We believe that everybody should have access to fresh, healthy food. The commitment is not just to fill up recipients with food, with calories, but to fill them up with the right food. Students and staff maintain the garden, and when vegetables are in season, they send them to friendship trays. Back in the kitchen, Devon Jackson and his co-workers start cooking before dawn. And by mid-morning, the volunteers form an assembly line, putting food in the trays. It's like a well-oiled machine. And perhaps that's because Friendship Trays has been around since 1976. Like clockwork, in comes another wave of volunteers who deliver food to people on a designated route. Shelly Meslevec says what she's taking to her homebound neighbors is much more than a tray of food. They know that somebody cares, that they care enough to hand deliver it to them, knowing that they can't help themselves. In minutes, she's loaded her bag and dashing out the door, ready to deliver food to strangers who have now become her friends. It doesn't take that much time out of your day. It's not a huge time commitment, and you get to see smiles on a lot of people's faces, and you get to see the direct impact. These people get to eat today because we've delivered their food. Kathy Nichols has been volunteering with Friendship Trays for seven years. She does it because she has a special connection. In 2001, Nichols' mother was living in another state when she suffered a medical emergency. A Meals on Wheels volunteer found my mom unresponsive in her house and started emergency proceedings. But if it had not been for her, I don't know how long it would have taken for somebody to find her. Friendship Trays! Hey, Janice. Remember Janice White? She's one of the people Nichols checks in with nearly every day. I'm observing to see if I think they're okay. If they look pretty much the same as the last time I saw them or better, or if they seem to have taken their medicine. Maybe if they're disoriented and maybe I need to call a son or daughter to check on them. So you feeling good today? Yes, how you feeling? Um, While it takes an army of volunteers and is a real yeah. commitment of one's time, Nicole says once you do it, you'll realize what a difference a knock on the door and a tray of food can have on someone else. Come ride with me. Go on one route with me and you can see the look in the recipient's eyes when that door opens and they see that it's you there because you are the highlight of most of their day. You're the only person they're going to see, much less talk to. If I wasn't on this right here, I would be down there helping out too because I've been through this for a long time and I know how it helps people. White says she's extremely grateful not only for the volunteers like Nichols who deliver meals, but all the other people she'll never meet who have a hand in growing or preparing the food she eats. I love them. They help me out a whole lot. That's what keep me healthy. As White finishes her meal, Kathy Nichols heads to her next stop, knowing she and hundreds of volunteers like her are making a huge difference in the lives of others. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jeff Rivenbark reporting.